okay in front of wellum the roof looks pretty good it's three tab but it looks all right might be on top of an existing roof the big thing is this this nice side yard it's a busy road over here though but at least you have parking on the side and you have a parking pad and you have access to this so if you put a privacy fence here this would be a pretty nice yard um you, know, you run it to here and then maybe a fence across there and now this is all fenced in but the house is a mess um i mean i guess it's disgusting i guess you could technically move into it but from a rehab standpoint i mean the siding's okay the roof's okay but the windows are okay but not good but if we were doing a flip rehab we'd need probably new windows i'd probably do new siding just so i could eliminate some of the windows this looks newer so that's good but yeah i mean you could have access right here into the yard which is kind of cool you have basement access hvac looks like it needs to be replaced um, yeah. over there's the steps to the basement uh from a rehab standpoint so basically you got living room i guess dining room kitchen but yeah. uh, it's a mess but uh and you got a bedroom here but i think that used to be another bedroom the i don't know here's the bathroom but uh which is a mess but i think over here i think there used to be an opening and that used to be the bedroom and then there's a small bedroom here but yeah if i was doing it i'd probably just get rid of like that window leave the front window um put a little mold there but what i would um i think i'd turn that kitchen into a bedroom again and i'd put open up the, the doorway there i'd seal this one off so that now at least you come in the front door and now you could have a you know a wall for your couch and then i would put the kitchen in the middle and then i would bust out that wall and make that like an eating area in the back and i'd get rid of this window just leave the front this way you have room for a tv here i guess you could make this opening even a little smaller so you could maybe put a sectional right here tv there um but you could go the other way if you don't mind having the tv in front of the couch in front of the window have a sectional this way and then put the tv there too um kitchen i guess it would kind of be like galley style or l-shaped some stuff there i'd remove this window or put one smaller sink window right here um bust this out this is probably a load-bearing wall but I'm not sure but anyway because then you'd have and get rid of this closet now you'd have an eating area back here it's all open you got the back door and the stairs to the basement so then i would make the hallway here because you have bedrooms up there you come down the stairs and everything's like kind of tucked away so i'd probably do like a three by three area right here you'd have a door that would open uh, maybe here into this bedroom the medium the small uh, medium sized bedroom and you'd have a doorway right an opening right here that would take you to the other bedroom and the bathroom. So this way the bathroom's right in between the two bedrooms like people want. And there's three tiny bedrooms up here and then you can come right down and the bathroom's right there too. But they added a bathroom up here. I don't know, it's a very low ceiling height, but it's probably not insulated in the ceilings either. But, um, but it's finished. I, this, I wouldn't do anything. I mean, the drywall is not perfect. Maybe just touch up the drywall a little. I wouldn't even change this layout because there's not much you can do anyway. So you got a door here for a tiny bedroom without a closet. Maybe you frame a tiny closet in here. Um, low ceiling height. You got a little nook. You could put a desk here or a kid's toys up here. You got another little nook for storage or again, kid's toys or something over there. The desk and then this bedroom low ceiling height but it's a little 
it's still considered tiny, I would say, but at least it's got, um, it's a little bigger than that other room. So I would still call it like a two bedroom or four bedroom. Uh, yeah, I don't know how you put it. You can't really put a bathroom up here though with the ceiling height. So I don't know if you get a half bathroom somewhere. Now the other thing is you could blow this all out and you can make a big master suite and then maybe, yeah, if you eliminate the bedroom, I guess you could, that might be better. We would call it a three bedroom, but yeah. So then it would be remove that bathroom, maybe put the bathroom, I don't know, somewhere else, maybe in the back corner and then blow all this out. And now it's uh, one bedroom, two baths down here, and then two little bedrooms upstairs. 